We're going to see the weather pattern change completely by the end of the week. We'll bring back a chance for some cool and wet weather. I'll go over those details in just a few minutes. But MTN's Cody Boyer is live in the studio with more details on what you need to know about these red flag warnings. Well, that's absolutely right, Mike. Fire danger, red flag warnings, and dry conditions are not unusual in the Gallatin Valley, but that, be that as it may, all it takes is a spark, whether it is from a cigarette thrown out your car window or a burn barrel gone bad. Now, this red flag warning is there for a reason. We're looking at, at red flag through tomorrow. Thursday's not going to be a whole lot better. We've all felt the heat across the area lately. In the midst of summer and with fields drying out, this red flag warning has firefighters like Central Valley Fire Marshal Bruce Hennequin watching the horizon. Around the state, we've had several fires. I think Billings and Great Falls have had a couple of significant fires, and then uh, we just had a crew come back today from, from the area up around Laurel. Other fires have risked damaging homes, including one last week. The fire marshal says that came from an unexpected source. That was actually a burn barrel, and, and he was burning it in the morning and thought it was out. And uh, sun rose and, and got nice and warm, and the winds picked up, and, and the embers in the bottom of the barrel made their way to the grass. It really only takes a single spark that could set an entire dry field like this on fire. The Central Valley Fire Marshal does say that unseen dangers like having your chains dangling from the toe on the back of your truck to one you might not think about, like the sun's heat overhead, could contribute to that. Careful if you do go off road for any reason, park in the tall grass, catalytic converters can ignite the grass and you may, uh, may return to your vehicle to find out it's it's now a burning, heaping mass of metal and rubber. Flames as large as these forest fires can come from the smallest of sources, something Hennequin hopes a red flag warning or two will help send an important message. Each individual is responsible. When, when you get your burn permit, you, you're asked who your insurance carrier is, and there's a reason for that. Now, the fire marshal says several burn bans have already gone into place across the county, including one this afternoon in Hyalite. Now, all of that information can be found on our website. Back to you, Caitlin.